Welcome to Retopology Continue. In this video, you will see the solution to the last video. There is multiple repetitions, so only the highlights are shown and I'll fade in and out of progression. So, uh, for instance, we're going to be uh, applying a texture to a wall and applying it again and again and again and again and again and again and again. And again, and again. So, uh, to save you guys from boredom, I've cut it down and it just fits into the 20 minutes I've got, um, just so it's the highlights of all this being put together for you. So wait no further, let's hop straight on over into Blender. Okay, so we are back over in Blender and there's a couple of further things we can do with this. I, for some reason I didn't spot it, it must have been at just the right angle, but this very dark, horrible colour coming through where I can't see anything just means my normals are the wrong way around. So before I do anything else, I'm going to flip those normals so I can see what I'm working on. Now, there's a few other bits of optimization we can do here before we go on and that I'm going to do simply by moving some vertices uh, with snapping turned on to vertex and merge the vertices as well. So I can see that there are a series of uh, basically redundant points. They're extra geometry where it's literally not needed. Uh, do remember that geometry is supposed to be there to define a uh, shape. Zoom far too close there. Uh, yes, if, if you've got excess geometry there. Oh, oh what's the, is there something weird going on there as well? That, no, I don't think there is. Let's just have a look at the other ones. Uh, yeah, I think there is something weird going on. There you go, they're all together now. There you go, they're all together. Excellent. So uh, there was something weird going on there. So you only need geometry when you need geometry. Having it there for the sake of having it there is a wasteful and causes problems. So hopefully when I go through this process here and then unwrap the model again, we should find that it's a bit cleaner. We'll also remember to remove doubles the check because it's on the other side as well. Now there's an option here, I could just delete one half of the model and re-extrude it. But again, for the sake of faffing about with that, for a few vertices to be moved, it shouldn't matter, so I'm going to select my entire model. There we go. And I've got face select turned off, that's why it looks a bit different to normal. Uh, usually it would highlight the whole thing, I'm going to put those back on, but I will confuse myself. Right, so now I've got everything selected, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm now going to use the search feature and I'm going to re oh, remove doubles, which was the last command I did, and it says I've got no extra one to remove, and that's always good. So let's just try unwrapping that now and seeing what it looks like. Aha, look at that, much, much better. It's albeit upside down on here, um, it is actually absolutely what I want. Um, it's straight for a start, which means that if we hop to material mode, all of our bricks are straight. Now, there's a couple of other things in here. Um, I'm happy with the bricks going up. In fact, we can tweak those so they lined up if we wanted to. But these ones are this flat area here, here, and there's going to be another one there. Those bricks are facing the wrong way. Now, because we've highlighted them on there, they will also be highlighted on the UV map. So if I select all three on the UV map and literally rotate them by 90, that will sort out that out. Obviously don't rotate them by 90 in the mesh. If you will go ahead and do that, you will twist your wall, um, which isn't the same as moving the texture around. So that is looking pretty good. And we just need to see what that looks like in context, of course. So let's go ahead and open up an outliner. And from that, just turn everything back on. Of course, being as lean as possible, I'm going to go ahead and render my image and see what that looks like as well. That looked pretty good. Of course, we've got the other walls to do. And, oh dear, I seem to have um, done something with my textures. Not happy about that. Oh, I didn't want to turn the building back on. In fact, I think we're going to have a problem there rendering that out at the moment until I've done the rest of the model. It's probably going to look 
Um, yeah, oh, I've been on top of it from Brenda. It's probably just going to look, um, well, horrible because all the light's going to be coming in. But I really do need to sort out those textures. I moved some files earlier. Um, that does look much better. This pink effect, I'm not going for that. So, with that in mind, I'm going to go ahead now and do the other modifications that I want to do to this particular uh, setup here. I'm not going to walk you through every single step because I'm going to be doing exactly the same thing, in some cases really simple, as I did with that wall there. In fact, that is the most complicated wall. Everything else is a piece of cake compared to that. Okay, so after a bit of fiddling about, I think I know what's gone wrong here. I believe that my images themselves, I've got a bit, a, a bit of software that does version control, and I believe that it has accidentally broken my model. So I don't know how, uh, but that's the only thing I can think of at the moment that's done that. So I'm going to go through and just make sure the materials are sorted. And this, you know, this is the sort of thing that will happen to you every now and then, hopefully not all the time. So we've got our material here and an image texture. So we need to open up our node editor. So let's go ahead and do that down here. Um, no, let's do it on this window so I can see what's going on. And I think it's just the, the reference been broken so let's go and have a look now tile texture example I have moved that so that's fair enough if that uh, stops working and unity here assets textures okay. so that's there so that should fix any of those issues now in object mode let's select something else and we've got the pillar section well that's not picking it up as we can see Clear that all together, try assigning it again. Now that's as we can see here is broken. If we try and refresh, yeah, it's not working. Let's do Ah, uh, I see, I see. I uh, yeah, it is the version control that has broken just by looking at that. I can see it's going into um, an area that I shouldn't be going into, otherwise I might break my repo. Okay, so I just need to reassign this. This one is section. So let's go ahead and find it. In fact, I'm going to make myself, I've already got one, there we go. And in fact, I'm going to make myself, uh, it's not under resources, it's Unity, Gothic Church, Assets, and then Textures. Obviously, you won't have such a convoluted storage, or you might do as well. So I've got my textures down there as well, I must remember to move that later on. Um, and I, I think it's just pillar section that I just have a the base pin section there we go and let's do the same this time I can just select it there we go and I've never covered this bottom pin so I'm gonna be a daredevil and do that but I can't just pick up the material there and that should sort that out oh there we go material excellent and material oh no that isn't the right one at all uh, we do want pin section section it looks like I've been editing the wrong material never mind so we were using pillar section for all of those let's go down here what's this one supposed to be yeah, that's the pillar section so I'm going to go down here and open up pillar section and then further down we've got the non-color data pillar bump so let's go ahead Ooh, not there that here. Textures. I could have done it both ways. Uh, pin a bump. Perfect. Right, now that is fixed, I can go ahead and do the rest of the walls. Right, so you're joining me back here where the last thing to do is just keep the floor plan. Now, there's two options here. I could delete all the existing geometry or I could actually just make the floor plan again considering it's not a great deal of tracing that needs to be done, essentially. I think we can get away with actually just going around the floor. So, let's go ahead and find a spot on the floor. Uh, anyone will do. I will need to hop into edit mode of the main building. Uh, let's 
Oh, there is a vertex selected already. Brilliant. And let's move the cursor to it. Is that an appropriate one? No, let's, let's move the cursor to the middle of an edge. That one there will do. So select. And cursor to selected. That's the one. Hop out. Add a mesh. Which is a single vertex. And now it's just magic. Quickly nipping round. Oh, this is quickly nipping round and not paying attention. It's nipping. There. All the way here. There. Oh, that's. It is difficult sometimes. It'll want to snap through objects. And if we select everything there and fill it in, there we go. We've got a big end gone, but that we can now extrude downwards. And of course, it will complain. It's, it's normal the wrong way around. There we go. So now, if we turn off the placeholder and turn on everything else. I really need to group these together in a moment. Um, but what we should now find is that we have all the bits and bobs in place. And if I turn off the placeholder building there, that everything else is rendered. Instead of just turning it on again, let's have a look and see how it's actually looking. Oh, I don't think I've put a roof on. And that might prove, well, it might prove problematic. Two things there. I haven't got myself the roof and I haven't got the textures on any of the building. So I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, so you join me back now. I've done a bit of organising, so I've got my building components on and off, apart from the floor it seems. So let's go and pop the floor in there as well. Now essentially, the um, I could just duplicate the floor and plonk it on top. But I want to actually create uh, something a bit more fun with... Oh, I'm not in edit mode. So I've got this thing called Vert down here. It's going to be my fake roof. And I'm going to put that under building components as well. Now I want something just a bit more open than that. So when I come to make my archways, they will fit as well. So what can we do here? Well, I am going to go ahead and go into the roof and edit it. And I'm literally just going to, first of all, create what look what, well, what can only be described as initially another floor plan on top of our model. So let's go to there. This should go all the way to the back. I uh, know we don't want anything to the back yet. Well, yes. So one thing at a time. I'm having problems snapping here. Let's just now I've extruded once. So I just need to move that next one. Then I can extrude to the there, there we go. It's just having a few difficulties. I think with all this geometry, knowing which bits are snapped to and which not to. So when you hover over for a little bit, it seems to sit back. Okay, so that has completed the plan just there. Now, actually, I do want to delete this. This is a bit ad hoc. I apologize for that, um, but I've decided I want this, and so I'm going to do it. So I'm extrude straight up in the z-axis by a random amount. So let's go uh, six or so meters uh, Maybe a little taller, I don't know, but I'll leave it like that for the moment. So I can extrude that back down to there. That's the first part, and at the top here, I can now extrude on the z-axis and then just move over this first height marker I can literally use it as a marker join the two together and then aha. so I'm going to lift this one up extrude by z so it's up here now it needs to intersect with those lines so I'm going to have to delete that edge I've just joined up so I'm moving in the z-axis and I can lock it to the height and now I can literally move it again but this time in the y-axis and lock it to there and there we go we've got it in the right place or well, he says the right place but actually it needs to come from here rather than there oh no no it needs to come from both places otherwise there's going to be a hole in the roof so this is like two separate bits of the roof so we extrude and put that back on there so we've got that layer there that one there that is brilliant and we just need to sort out this long edge here so let's go ahead and get rid of that and here and here yeah that is just one vertex with multiple points and fill that and then here and here and fill that now it should just 
famous last words it may just be a matter of filling in these spaces and again it is a temporary roof so I'm not too worried about how it well I say it's temporary it might end up looking quite good who knows uh, that's a great thing experiment have fun and see where you end up right that is well, it's looking quite good from the outside now I wonder how it looks when you render it now I still haven't got my textures applied but I still want to be uh, as quick and as lean as possible make sure the building looks okay even without those textures on so you join me back again and I'm just finishing off the setup of the mirror modifiers. Now the actual building components empty I've used to organise these is also what I'm using to mirror them around. So it's starting to come together really nicely now. Now um, when I actually made that mirrors empty, in fact I'm, I'm not going to leave this side off, um, I centred the 3D cursor right in the centre of the scene so I know it's mirroring around something that's central. So we've just got the side wall now, uh, so the building component is empty, and I think that's that. So let's go ahead and render that and see what it looks like. That is starting to look pretty good. So the next thing that I'm going to go away and do now is add the rest of the textures and the other half of the mirror for these pillars. See you in a moment. And welcome back. I think this is going to be the final welcome back by the time we finish off. And what I have been busy doing, I've raised the roof. Woohoo! And I've made it a little taller to make it a bit more epic whilst we're in this building. Now, what? Oh, I've moved the camera. Uh, it's a bit jerky at the moment, so I think we're going to have to do something soon about this high poly cam. What, what are we on? Whoa, 4.8 million triangles that we definitely need to do something like that. If we tried importing that into a game engine at the moment, it would not thank us and it would be very pleasurable. So what else have I done? Well, I've made the bricks ever so slightly smaller. Now I did, when I was mapping the uh, brickwork on, over on these firewalls, need to tweak the uh, UV map ever so slightly so they are lined up well. Now I might go ahead later on and change the colour of this. This is pretty bright yellow, uh, but for the moment it's absolutely fine. A um, couple of tips for you when rendering, whilst we're uh, thinking about doing this final render and seeing what it's looking like. Uh, on the sampling themselves, uh, with my particular setup, I found samples of around 150 are about where I start to get diminishing returns. After that, yes, it does get less and less noisy, but it takes an increasing amount of time to do so. Um, a couple of other things that I know that I haven't done quite yet is set up some light portals on the rear uh, window and the and the front door. But let's go ahead and render this now and see how it is looking. Just remember, of course, to uh, turn that back down to around 10 when you're generally working. Of course, it's nice to turn it up occasionally and see uh, a picture that's a slightly less noisy than usual. But remember, when you're prototyping, often you want to get through as quickly as possible. Now, um, when, whilst this is rendering out, I think I've still got a sun lamp in the scene. Um, these two pillars on the left do look a bit, uh, what you would you call it, a bit uh, bright, considering they're in the dark. So I'll see if I can sort that out. I'll re-render it. Now, I want to see what you guys have been up to, so remember to share your work in the discussions. And I will see you guys in the next lecture.